We may not have royalty in the United States, but we do have Renaissance fairs. And Lifetime's satirical new comedy, American Princess, will help quench your thirst for juicy royal storylines. Joining us from L.A. to talk about the show is actress Georgia Flood and series creator Jamie Denbo. It's today's sponsored segment. Ladies, thanks for joining us this morning. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. Having us. We're so happy to be here. Hi, Salt Lake. Hello, hello. Jamie, how'd you come up with the show? <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is a story I have wanted to tell for 20 some odd years uh, from the first time that I stepped into a Renaissance festival for the very first time. Um, I, I was sort of running away from my life a little bit because at the time I was sort of on the sort of typical post-college path of get married, have kids, live in your parents' town. And I wound up instead uh, doing what I thought at the time was supposed to be Shakespeare in the Park. It was not. It was a Renaissance festival, which is completely different, but completely unique and special and wild and fun and warm and communal in totally different ways. Mm -hmm. So uh, I came up with the idea a long time ago, and it's amazing to see it all these years later come to fruition. Now, if you've seen the trailer for this, and I watched it this morning, I know that, so uh, Jamie, you're basically saying this show is based off of your experience, and George is playing that out here for this season. It is inspired uh, by true experiences, yes. And uh, although the wedding part, the runaway bride aspect, that was sort of uh, how we really felt we should tell the story in these days now, that she should be propelled by something really traumatic, like walking in on your fiancé on your wedding day doing something he shouldn't be doing. So she actually winds up at the Ren Fair also by mistake. And um, I also made sure to cast someone hotter than me uh, <laughs> to play my version of me. Yeah. So you're welcome, America. <laughs> Now that's a smart move. Uh, George, have you ever had anything like this where you've wanted to kind of just get a clean slate and start over? Um, yeah, I mean, in some aspects, but like not, not, in, this, not in this context or this, uh, the, the, where the stakes are this high, no. <laughs> Although she has started over theoretically by coming to this country yeah. and working all of a sudden in a new job, which was part of the reason we cast her because... You know, she's Australian, but we do have an American princess. Now, the show was titled Before We Found George, <laughs> but she also came here with this wide-eyed, oh my gosh, uh, sensibility yeah. that really worked for the character. Yeah, it was like definitely parallel what was going on for her, being thrown into a new world, like a Renaissance fair, and me being thrown into a Hollywood TV set, which is, is very different from an Australian TV set. So, Georgia, what did you think of your first Renaissance fair? Well, my first Renaissance fair was actually being on set with with the with the the rest of the cast and crew. That was my first Renaissance she fair. She looked pretty confused. Very confused, <laughs> just like Amanda would have, which was perfect. Um, but my first Renaissance real fair was about a couple of weeks ago. I went to the Pleasure Fair in in L.A. with Jamie, and it was amazing. And it was just exactly like set. It was just like I was going to work. They had completely create recreated the. the there was set. a lot of. We had that. We had that. Yeah, we had that. yeah, yeah. yeah. We had that. It yeah. was very cute to watch. <laughs> well, glad to know it fits the mold right there. Um, I wish we had more time to talk to you both. I'm sure you're hearing a lot of things from Renaissance Fair fans. But I want to let sure uh, everyone at home can know that you can catch American Princess Sunday nights on Lifetime. Georgia, Jamie, thanks for being with us today. 10 p.m. We'll see you then. Come you join go. us. Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> Huzzah! See you there. <laughs> Bye.